Hello everybody, today we're back with the second half of the Thread Up box. So let's um let's stop talking and dig right into it. And welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Charles and I run a Poshmark closet along with my wife Angelique. Um, it's called The Deegans and it's linked below. All right, so we are going to finish going through this um, 25 piece thread up box. Um, I don't know exactly how many pieces I have left in there. I think I did about 14 in the last one, so we should have just about 11 items to go through, but uh, we're not gonna know until we start going through it. And up first is probably what was the best item in the box or at least it would be if um at least it would have been if it had any tags um so no brand tag no care tag just a mystery jacket um it looks like now, I don't know, yeah, there is no indication as to what brand or what um, what this is made out of. It has kind of a corduroy material. It could be, it could be someone made this um, by hand, although probably not with this um, fur up top that, that someone would make. So I don't know what we'll do with this um, because it doesn't have a brand, so it's going to be really hard to sell. Um, so that might end up getting redonated, or maybe we'll sell it without brand, or maybe we'll put it in like a bundle box or something. I don't know. Um, okay. Now, getting off that note, we have a Ellie Tahari, and this is a, I believe this is silk, a silk top. Um, let me see if this one has a care tag. Yes, it does. Um, one of the things I noticed in this particular thread up box is that it didn't have uh, care tags. So this care tag says it is 100% silk. So I was right. It is a 100% silk top. Um, no sleeves. Uh, it does have the single button in the back, just that little black button right there. Um, so you can get your head through that hole, although the hole is wide enough, so maybe you wouldn't need to. I don't know. Um, Anyway, size-wise, I believe this is a small or a petite. Had a P, not an S. So, I guess this is a petite. All right. I'm not particularly familiar with that brand, but um, I think it's good. So, I'm happy about that. All right. Up next, we have a United Arrows Green Label Relaxing, um, and this is a. Nice, uh, nice big cozy sweatshirt without sleeves. So um, maybe uh, something you would work out in if you were in a 80s um, music video, um, or maybe something you just put on and lounge around the house in. Um, or may may maybe something you wear out because it's actually, you know, it's the material feels a little bit like it would rub if it was a workout material. So. Maybe it is something, it, it's, you know, with the cut and everything, it's probably not meant to be worked out and it's probably meant to be worn. And I just um, rambled on about, um, about it being a workout outfit for no reason. Okay. No. Mistakes were made. And it looks like I actually got through most of the box in the last video. So, um, be sure to go back and check that one out. Um, it'll probably be... I'll probably put a card or maybe I'll put it at the end in slide, whatever. Anyway, up next is a Club Monaco. This is a size 6. And this is a white... Whoa! That really, really messed with my... Um, really, really messed up my focus there. I just went dark. 
Um, so, anyway, a nice, bright, so bright that it has to be, cannot be shot by normal means. Um, dress uh, does have the zipper that goes all the way down the back. Um, so, easy to get in and out. And it does have this kind of beige inner layer. Um, so, all in all, a pretty nice dress. Um, Club Monaco is a good brand, um, so I don't know how well it's done for us, um, because I don't think we've had a whole lot of it until recently. Let me just turn that down now. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we only have three pieces left, so this is going to be a short video, but I will get to share my thoughts on this box. Okay. Up next, we have a C by Chloe that's not showing up in the camera. You'll have to take my word for it. And it is this nice sweater. Um, so another thing that is going to do very well in the winter um, is a nice cozy knitted sweater. Um, let me see if there's a care tag in here. I don't think there's a care tag in this one because there weren't care tags in a lot of items in this box. Nope. Okay. So, don't know what it's made out of. Probably just cotton. Um, uh, does it have the size on here? Um, made in UK. No size. Um, so, no size. No care tags. So, we're going to have to, we're going to have to do some measurements and do maybe a little bit of research on this to figure out what it is but it should do nice once it gets a little bit colder out because that is a, just a nice comfy sweater all right and up next we have a maga shawan cashmere we have a lovely cashmere sweater um, now this has one two three four five buttons um, all the buttons are there and it's a nice sweater and you know it kind of reminds me of uh kind of reminds me of a mr rogers sweater uh but i believe um yeah it kind of it kind of reminds me of a mr rogers sweater and i don't know um again because of because of the lack of a care tag um, I can't tell you a whole lot else about it. Um, yeah, and also the size tag is missing. So, again, something we'll have to take measurements from. I believe, though, that looks like it might be my size. I don't know if it's a men's or a women's. Wait, the buttons are on the... The buttons are on the left side, so it's a woman's. Um, dang. Because I would not mind a Mr. Rogers sweater. I watched that show a ton growing up. Loved that show. That and Sesame Street, although I was afraid of some of the some of the Muppets on there. Okay, and the very last item in this in this box, and it's a very good one. Something great to end on. It is a Madewell small bodysuit. Um so this says it's a small, but I've shot other bodysuits, and this one fit on the mannequin like a little bit loose. So I don't know if Madewell just does vanity sizing or if, um, I guess it's adjustable because it does have three different size options at the bottom. So um, because of those three different sizing options, it, it could be a small, medium, or large, although I don't think that's wide enough to give it that much so probably a small to medium um yeah and anyway it's a made well so that's definitely a good brand um so i'm really really happy about this this could um this could all this thing alone if it sells at full price could probably pay for the entire box by itself so very happy about that um and don't quote me on that um last part because <laughs> My wife actually does all the pricing and all the negotiating, uh, so I actually don't know. <laughs> Could. Maybe. <laughs> all right, so on that 
very high note to end on. Um, I like this box. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, the first half had some had some good had some good stuff. Had some lower stuff. This last half, mm, this last couple of items, was all pretty good. And ending on that Madewell was um, just a nice way, to, nice bow to tie in this box. So um, overall, I think um, no no issues um, no issues making a profit off this box. Um, compared to some of the other retailer uh, reseller boxes that we've got um, from just from other resellers and online. Um, I think that the stuff's a, stuff's a little bit lower than that, but all in all, the slightly above average uh, third unbox. All right. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment below. Um, all that stuff's below. You, you know how to use YouTube. Um, I don't have to tell you. Until next time, I'm Charles. I'll see you.